Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we continue celebrating the octave of Christmas, today we commemorate the holy innocents who offered their lives for Jesus. We remember today that even in the midst of our trials and distress, Jesus remains the same. He is God with us. Let us also continue to pray for people, especially children, who suffer because of abuse, children who suffer because of their faith. Let us pray in this Mass that Jesus may continue to be their strength. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. 
we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant we pray that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive, when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please stand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise. Take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today's feast of the holy innocents, the children who were murdered by King Herod, The feast teaches us that each of us experience Christmas differently. Each of us, therefore, has our own story of Christmas to tell. Ang kapistahan po ngayon ng mga tinatawag nating ninyos inosentes, ang mga batang pinaslang ni Haring Herodes, nagtuturo sa atin na iba't iba tayo ng karanasan ng Pasko. Kanya-kanya tayo, may sariling karanasan, may sariling kwento, Paano natin naranasan ang Pasko? For these innocent children who were murdered, they experienced Christmas. In fact, the first Christmas, they experienced it with suffering and trial. And so Christmas for them is not a story of Noche Buena. Christmas for them is not a story of Christmas trees and lights. Christmas for them was trial and suffering. That is their own story of Christmas. 
And I know, my dear brothers and sisters, even until now, we still have different stories of Christmas. We cannot say that for everyone, Christmas is joyful. Christmas is our ideal Christmas. How many of our fellow Filipinos are celebrating Christmas without homes? Because of the recent typhoon, thousands are celebrating Christmas without a proper home, a proper Noche Buena, maybe, unlike some of us. Perhaps some of our fellow Filipinos are celebrating Christmas for the first time without a loved one because someone died in the family because of COVID-19. What a different Christmas it may be for them. Some of us may be celebrating Christmas without a proper job. Mga nawala ng trabaho. Baka hindi man lang sila nakapagdiwang ng Pasko ng maayos dahil walang hanap buhay. Ano kaya ang kwento ng Pasko nila? Ano kaya ang karanasan ng kanilang Pasko ngayong taon na ito? My dear brothers and sisters, even now, there are innocent children who suffer even during Christmas time. Just yesterday, there was a news in Myanmar that innocent women and children were killed on this time of Christmas. Different stories of Christmas. Let us be aware of this, my dear brothers and sisters. Maybe we picture Christmas always as something like this picture in front of us. But let us be reminded that each of us has our own story to tell, our own Christmas story, our own Christmas experience. But Jesus reminds us today also that even if we have our own experiences own story of Christmas to tell, Jesus remains the same. He is the Emmanuel, God with us. In our first reading today from the first letter of St. John, he reminds us of the message that he proclaims to us. And he said, God is light, and in Him there is no darkness. And he further says, we proclaim this fellowship with Him. We are walking with Him. And Jesus remains to be our advocate with the Father to defend us from evil, to defend us from sin. Whatever our Christmas story may be this year, Jesus remains the same. He is the Word made flesh. He is God with us. And because of Jesus, we can be in fellowship with God. God walks with us through the presence of Jesus. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayong Pasko po, maaaring iba ang kwento mo. Iba ang kwento niya. Iba-iba tayo ng kwento. Iba-iba ng karanasan. Maaaring marami sa atin ay nagdiwang ng maayos ngayong Pasko. 
Pero alalahanin din natin, marami rin sa atin ang nagdiwang ng kakaibang Pasko. Maaaring lumuluha, maaaring malungkot at hindi nakauwi sa kanilang pamilya. Marami, iba-iba ang karanasan ng Pasko. Iba-iba ang kwento ng Pasko. Pero tandaan natin, anuman ang pinagdaanan mo at kwento ng iyong pamilya ngayong Pasko, hindi nagbabago si Jesus. Siya pa rin ang Emmanuel, ang Diyos na kapiling natin. Nawa sa misang ito ay ipaalala sa atin ng Diyos at palakasin ng Diyos ang ating mga diwa at puso na anuman ang ating pagdaanan kahit Pasko, ito ang paalala niya sa atin na siya ay kapiling natin. Amen. Please stand. Christ, our Lord, was born into a fallen world. The cruelty which claimed the lives of the holy innocents eventually brought him to the cross. Let us pray for this world, fallen yet redeemed by the sacrifice of innocent love. For every petition, let us say, through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord, that Christ, born as our Savior, may save those yet unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, martyrs, hear us, O Lord, Lord, that God, who is the source of all life, may bring an end to abortion and to all other forms of violence in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, hear us, O Lord, Lord, that we may build a society of love and justice based on respect for each and every human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, martyrs, hear us, O Lord, Lord, that God, who sent His Son to save and not to condemn, may touch the hearts of all who have had abortions and bring them the gift of repentance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, hear us, O Lord, Lord, that all children who have lost, who have been lost by abortion, may be received into the eternal dwelling prepared for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, martyrs, hear us, O Lord. O Lord. Merciful and gentle Father, accept our prayers as we seek to understand the mystery of innocent blood. Help us to look always to your crucified and risen Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him, God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these, your saints, 
who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of His Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue, now and forever. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of His Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness He gives, and make you heralds of His gospel, now and forever. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of His peace and favor, and make you sharers with the church in heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Savior, blessed.